I'm recording this on October 24th, uh, 2020, and um, one of the reasons I really love um, this current situation that we're in is that there is a whole lot less bias towards singles, uh, mostly because we, we really can't go out, and uh, uh, when you do go out when it's alone, people don't seem to be bothered by that anymore. Um, not that people really were bothered by it. It was just a, a, a new experience for a lot of people. But I'm thinking come Valentine's Day of 2021, if people are still social distancing, this would be a great time to promote the idea, the idea of being happily single. And uh, I would really hate for history to let this opportunity pass us by, right? Um, in the past, when I would go out on Valentine's Day as a happily single guy, um, I always, oftentimes I would get... Uh, subhuman service right my table always got the lowest priority right but it's not just confined to valentine's day right and my workplace uh, my vacation plans always have the lowest priority right you've got people who obviously have um, family issues to attend right um, and then you got people who just want to go out with their family uh, to, to go see an extended family member maybe go see the grandparents uh, during uh, Thanksgiving or Christmas. And then you got somebody like me who wants to go to a computer Olympia, wants to go stargazing, and um, it's a lower priority. Yes, I understand. When, when people have kids um, to take to a field trip or educational event, or worse yet, they have crises in the family, I understand that takes a higher priority than stargazing. But I want it to be recognized that I have needs too. That, that's what I mean by single lives matter. Uh, a lot of times uh, people just completely brush it away, right? Oh, you can, how about you just um, zoom into your computer Olympia, right? It's in China, it's a different time zone. You don't even need to take that day off, right? Uh, people literally think that sometimes. They don't say it out loud. I wish they did because then I could defend myself, right? I need, I, I'd like to network with these people and uh, I don't do very well when I miss sleep like that. Of, do you really want my creativity to suffer? I wouldn't say it like that, but you get the idea, right? If people actually spoke out their biases, I could defend myself. But unfortunately, people don't, right? Uh, when, when people talk about Black Lives Matter, and um, see, a lot of that is actual uh, bias, right? There's a shooting going on. Obviously, it's very tragic, but there's an actual shooting that people can refer to, right? Um, there's a phrases that people can refer racial slurs right a couple months ago i went to the grocery store and there's a lot of uh, a lot of hate toward asians nowadays somebody asked me how i thought bat soup tasted right and i can explain that i've never eaten it right i've lived in the united states almost all my life i've never eaten it see i can actually defend myself there right if people just think in their mind that i eat bat soup all the time you know, that would be a harder thing to defend right um, but you get the idea, right? And I really am happily single. You see, um, 10 years ago, I had broken up with a girl who was taking advantage of me. I almost dropped out of school at the time. I was working on my PhD. And I was scared uh, because uh, there were a number of events I wanted to go to later on in that year. And um, in my mind, I, I, I thought I could only go to those things with a girl. This is what brainwashing does to you, right? It was never true. It never was true, even before that girl. And unfortunately, well, I live with probably billions of people who, who think that way, right? Around the world, right? Um, in a lot of countries, they have to think that way in order to keep their species alive, right? Not so much so in the United States, but... Um, anyway, so I uh, broke up with the girl, and two weeks later... The first challenge was I wanted to go to a coin collecting show. I used to collect coins. I still do. Um, and I didn't have a girl to take to the coin show. And I was scared to death. Um, I wish I could upload my emotions into a YouTube video about what I was thinking. Um, I was scared. I, 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 my, my grades suffered at school. My relationships with other people suffered. I argued with everybody. I was a nervous wreck. To give you an idea of how nervous I was... Uh, well, my grades were suffering, and my advisor wanted to talk to me, and um, I would have trouble sleeping the night before talking to my advisor. And it made what was a bad situation even worse, because I would go there sleep-deprived, defensive, and uh, I was a wreck. Until I went to uh, the coin show, 
and I had the best time of my life. And um, to this day, I still celebrate the anniversary of um, that coin show. It was June 13th, uh, 2010. Uh, I, I call it Solo Sexual Awareness Day. Um, and um, what was really interesting was that um, I used to have a... Oh, my camera is kind of acting up. Give me a second. I used to have a big fear of flying. When I was... Uh, when I was 14 years old, 9-11 uh, happened, and then when I was, uh, why is my zoom, so, okay, sorry, my camera's out of focus. When I was 14 years old, 9-11 happened, and then um, I uh, reluctantly got on a flight because my family and I needed to go see uh, my grandparents, uh, and we had some uh, family issues to attend to as well. Let me get the lighting a little bit better. Had some family matters to attend to and uh, to see my grandparents. And um, I came home, but I was a nervous wreck. And I uh, made the entire trip miserable. I had anxiety to begin with. And 9-11 um, had just happened less than a year be uh, before we took that trip. We came back home and um, I uh, got some therapy. Not just for fear of flying, but for... Uh, uh, I was later diagnosed with uh, high-functioning autism, so I uh, thought I was ready to fly again, but then Space Shuttle Columbia crashed, and it just wiped out all the progress I had made. I never wanted to fly again, and I remember uh, arguing with my dad over that, if it was safer to drive or to fly, and I just felt more in control when I was driving. Anyway, um... I, I, and then finally, I move out of the family home, but I never got around to getting over my fear of flying. By this point, I was much more sound in terms of uh, my mental health, but I never thought of, to get around to my fear of flying, mostly because I didn't have anybody to fly with. Um, I would open my Facebook or my Instagram, and I would see all my friends traveling with their significant other, and that just didn't really apply to me. And so I, I just never thought of touching the idea of flying until um, one uh, one semester my advisor I was working on my PhD my advisor wanted me to go to a conference that was in uh, Louisville Kentucky I was in Rochester New York at the time and um, I drove there and my advisor was really upset because the car had broken down and I was a mess when I came back. I was uh, exhausted. I was uh, my sleep schedule was messed up for m many weeks after that. My my advisor was pretty upset, and that was that. And I thought, okay, we have one conference a year. She'll be upset once a year. I'll have to live with that. And um, but then that later that summer, I broke up with the girl, and um, I discovered how much fun I could have by myself and. I decided to fly again. So I had gone, wow, eight years without flying at this point, and I got on a plane, and I, I, I really kicked myself after I got to, uh, the first flight I took was to uh, Rome. I really kicked myself because I realized how much I had been missing out, all because of a stubborn, stubborn belief that life doesn't go on um, uh, by yourself, which is why it makes me so angry when I go out and people don't recognize uh, how, how, uh, how much of a relationship I have with myself. Um, I, uh, actually, I walked out of a um, place because of this. I went to a bowling alley in uh, Kirkland, Washington, and uh, this was on a Friday night. And uh, uh, the, the guy at the counter, he, he's a little bit younger than me. I would say he was in his mid-20s. He says, all alone? And he, he asked twice in disbelief, and uh, I was about to swipe my credit card as he was asking this, and I was like, you know, forget about it, and I walked out the door. And I was so proud of myself for, for sticking up to myself. Oh, he went, sir, sir, oh, check that. He, and I'm like, I, I don't want to talk to you anymore. And I walked out the door, and I, I went to their website to write about uh, why uh, single lives matter. And I was so proud of myself for doing that. And so I need to do that more. But here we are in 2021, Valentine's Day. I hope that, uh, well, 
I nowadays people are really nervous when you go to a restaurant as a crowd anyhow, right? I think this would be a great opportunity to to think about the idea of solo sexual dating. Uh, one one thing I could I could recommend if you own a restaurant, uh, a lot of times on Valentine's Day there's a there's like a two for one kind of deal, or, or maybe get the second meal at a certain range. How about you get rid of that and just give everybody the same discount? Right? That would be one step to, uh, closer to. To, to 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 fully accepting solo sexuals. Um, obviously, we have social distancing. You could put aside some tables that, that, that just for one, right? Um, there's probably going to be a lot, and, and raise some awareness about that as as you do it. And I'm really excited to see how this would play out. I would hate 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 to miss this opportunity of a lifetime to uh, to bring some 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 focus onto uh, the idea of. Um, solo sexual dating uh one thing i do want to talk about is um i went on a lot of solo sexual dates um a little over a year ago now um i was um, getting ready to propose to a girl i had met her here in seattle about wow two and uh two and a half years ago now and um Toward the end of our relationship, uh, or at the height of our relationship, I should say, I was really nervous that once I marry her, I would never have a single life again. There are so many things I love to do, especially traveling. It's kind of funny because I talked about how in the past I didn't want to travel because I didn't have somebody to travel with. Now I'm nervous about somebody wanting to travel with me. I love traveling the way I love to travel. So, for example... Um, when I was uh, when I was in uh, Warsaw a few years ago, I got very ill because I ate um, raw squid, and um, fortunately I didn't start a pandemic. But I ended up in the hospital for two days, and that was an experience. You know, it, it, when I when I bring my wife and my kids there, uh, that's 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 not so fun anymore, right? Or um, when I got lost um, in Tokyo, I, I had a I, I hate to admit this, but I had a little bit of a meltdown of when I got to Tokyo one time because I had a 30-minute layover, but I wanted to get some sushi at the airport, and I was racing through the airport, and I got hurt, and uh, I missed my flight as a result. And so I took a bus into downtown Tokyo and stayed in an internet cafe for, for a night, and then the, ne the following day, I continued my trip to Taiwan. See, if I had a wife and kids, and now I'm uh, desperate to get sushi, and, 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 and I'm treating it like it's Black Friday, oh, uh, that would not go very well, right? So I got nervous about my time as a single guy coming to an end. And so last year, I went on a frenzy of going on solo sexual dates, right? I went on three trips. I went uh, Valentine's Day, uh, 19 and 20. Valentine's Day, uh, I went out alone. Oh, uh, I, uh, what else did I do? I, I went to see Toy Story 4 alone, and, uh, a, what else did I do? Uh, uh, stargazing, obviously, writing computer games. Uh, but I liked it so much, I, 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 I was gonna propose to my girlfriend on December 21st, 2020, because Jupiter and Saturn in conjunction, I, I was planning to take her to, uh, a vantage point um, just outside of Ellensburg where uh, I would propose to her I, I had uh, researched uh, some jewelry to represent uh, Jupiter and Saturn coming into conjunction I, 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 but then um, we uh, I, I enjoyed all the single life and then we had to stay six feet apart and that really cemented the idea wow I really enjoy my single life and uh, so we put that on hold for now. We're still close friends. Uh, I guess maybe by the time the next Jupiter and Saturn conjunction, we might, I might rethink about this. Um, but um, hopefully, I, I really hate to, to miss the opportunity of a lifetime to, to bring, bring this into the spotlight.